you know what this is kind of like? Like when you figure it out? What is it like? When you're on the, on like when you're hitting and you're playing in the middle of the match, and then all of a sudden out of nowhere, you're just like, God, that swing was so effortless. Or like it just kind of happened and it was like so pretty. You're like, oh, I wish I could do that all the time. Like if I'm not trying to like pound the ball, then just kind of like swing soft. Right. Like it's really just kind of nice and like. So I've kind of noticed that. I would say you're swinging a couple miles an hour faster than I need to. Less than you were earlier. Yeah. And it's hard to really tell, but the ball's going the same if not further, I feel like. Yeah. Because we're hitting off the center, we're hitting with a little draw. Yeah. Rather than in the So, like, while we were practicing, I kind of was like, oh, yeah, I'm not even trying to kill the ball. All right, so for when you come out, hopefully at least once a week and hit the range, work on these things, um, I want you to focus on the swing thoughts we were working on. Got it. I like the skipping the rock thing you were talking yes. about. Perpendicular, um, skip the rock, close the hand. I like yeah. it because, I mean, I, I can say things in a way that makes sense to me. I've never even thought of it as skipping a rock. Yeah. But it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense when you put it that way. Um, another thing I like, just when you're up here, maybe working on some things, is having some sort of visual aid okay. um, to really visualize what we were working on. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead, let me take that club real quick. Mm -hmm. so that's how it should be. And again, we have plenty of these range baskets around. You can basically do this with anything. Um, so again, this will just provide immediate feedback okay. for when you had the tendency to get outside the ball, you come through, you try to hit it from the outside, oh. you're gonna whack the whack the basket. And that kind of goes same. So that, that would be the club path that you come through. You'll whack this one on the way through. Oh. When really what we're looking for is to get that on the inside track, skip that rock, yeah. and then finish more inside to out. Okay. And when done properly, It'd be like those baskets aren't even there. Cool. So it's kind of like your clubs, but it actually like gets in the way. Yeah. Go ahead and just take. As if the ball were like here. As if the ball were like there. Yeah. Not like that. Nice. Oh. <laughs> so again, you can still focus on skipping that rock, and that should just drop that club right into place. Just hit one or two balls doing this, just so you get that feel. It went great, to be honest with you. The ball went really nice. <laughs> but again, that, that, that's why that's there. So really, it looked like you did a good job, and then you kind of tried to cut it back a little too close a little too um, after okay. the swing. So just take one more. The ball went straight. The ball went, ball went nice and straight. Yeah, this guy So again, a little thin, but it's just a nice visual aid to have um, on getting that club going from the inside to the outside and then up. Okay. Um, yeah, do one more.